good morning welcome to a new vlog so i'm in denver colorado i'm doing another trusted house sitters this is where you stay in people's houses for free watch their dogs we're on a bit of a time crunch this morning because a i want to go do this hike before it gets like crazy busy because it's the weekend right now and b i also just have a shit ton of work today so i'm trying to like do both get the dog walked get the hike in and then come back and get everything else done so it's pretty early it's 7 29 right now but we need to get going because it's a little bit of a drive so i'm gonna get my my stuff ready i'm gonna bring my dagny dover sling this is such a good just you know i feel about this everything bag or it's like every day i also have this in like a light blue color now that time of the month that's fun I don't need Walgreens coupons. Bring in my extra battery pack, headphones. This bag has a little card slot, which is so nice. So you can just slide your ID and credit card. I don't think I'm gonna bring this as a tripod. I don't think I'm gonna bring this camera. What else do I have? Medicine. I usually have medicine already in all my bags, but this one does not. It's coming in the car, okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna chat more once I'm back from this hike. This is like a very mild, get used to the elevation kind of hike here. Dog friendly. I got my blue, these are my favorite shorts on. I have these in lavender too now, but they have like the side pockets. So it's really nice for walking. So you can just slip your phone and your keys in both sides. And they're just so nice and thick and like soft. Here's the hiking outfit. Let's go. I've also never been to Denver, by the way. I've been here, I've like driven through for a wedding. Actually, Kendall Ray's wedding years ago, if you know Kendall Ray. I was like outside of Denver, but I've never actually seen Denver, so I'm really excited. There's also a farmer's market today, but anyways, let's let's go. Okay, we've made it. It's called, I think it's called Clear Canyon Trailhead 1 or something like that. I'll put on screen. Looks so pretty, I can already see the water. It's super green, it's sunny, and it's 67. It's supposed to get to 90 today, so that's why I also want to do this early, but we got a parking spot. It's not time to take a nap, sir. We're about to go work out. But here we go, it looks so beautiful. Okay, I've got a massive grocery haul for you here because I'm here for a couple weeks. So I wanted to just do a big, like, get a bunch of healthy food, veggies, fruit, meat, everything. I really want to, like, primarily eat here. It's always hard when I'm in a new city because I want to try restaurants and, like, the food and stuff too. But I've just been eating crappy and I just feel like I want some healthy food in my life. I'm going to quickly go through this because there's a lot of stuff here. But I got a Instacart order from Sprouts. I love Sprouts. I got just some pre-cooked salmon for... Probably this will probably be dinner tomorrow night. I always get sushi rolls from the grocery store because it's just cheaper. It's not as good, obviously, as a restaurant, but cheap, good, like, quick lunch with some kind of veggie. And then they didn't have shredded chicken breasts, but they had these ones. These are just cooked. Listen, I like convenience, okay? I like getting the meat already cooked, especially because there's no air fryer here. <laughs> some soup, just in case. These juices, the Suja juices, were on... Actually, this one was on sale, the Immunity, and then this Evolution juice was also majorly on sale. I've never tried this, but sounded good, just like watermelon. I haven't had this creamer in so long, and I'm so excited because I also got cold brew to try. I haven't tried this brand before. We're jumping all over. Cold brew coffee concentrate, New Orleans style. I'm curious. I like the bottle, too. I guess I'll bounce around with my coffee coffee theme here this is the milk brand i've never actually tried this but i've heard good things it only has three ingredients there's i don't know there's like the fillers in this one yeah there's not a lot of oat milk has fillers that can cause inflammation i usually get this suja juice i like this one i always get these owen protein they don't have whey in them i like the taste they don't taste like gross and chalky to me and i got this cottage cheese i've never tried this brand before but i want to have this with either tomatoes i got these cherry tomatoes or for breakfast with eggs i think that'd be a good like high protein kind of breakfast yes i got already boiled eggs i got this organic creamy peanut butter and i'm just gonna have that with dave's killer sliced bread got some bananas i got a couple of sweet things because you know oops who's that i got dried mango just for like a sweet thing i always like smart sweets a lot of this stuff will normally order on thrive but i didn't plan it out like thrive market i didn't plan out the timing good of getting here um i want to try these I feel like they rebranded because it said I had already bought these, but they used to be a different brand. I'm like 99% sure. Mini pickles, turkey bacon, veggie straws, but they're like the spicy ones. Got some spinach, gotta have veggies, some broccoli. 
a little salad kit, a couple things of sparkling water, LaCroix, and I always, I get water lately. I can never remember if it was disgusting or good. I remember having strong feelings one way or another, but I got it again, so we'll see. I'm leaning towards it was disgusting, Waterloo, but haven't tried this layer before. It's the orange vanilla. I think I had the black cherry before. We will see. They didn't have bubbly on there. Other salmon, is this salmon? Yeah, salmon, like raw salmon to cook. Went through this. Okay, that's everything. Here you go. Uh, making breakfast. Only problem is I uh, let that cabinet go you know, opening it, getting salt out. And I don't know if you can tell, these are like probably 14 foot ceilings. How the heck is anyone supposed to reach that? Literally, here's my arm. <laughs> Guess that's staying open. We're gonna try out this new coffee cold brew combo. That was a lot of C's. Don't worry, I have my travel glass straws. Yes, I carry these now. <laughs> Listen, I love a glass straw. It makes such a difference. I put some tissue in here just so it didn't like break. They're pretty big. This one's like a boba straw, but it's okay. Okay, how much of this do I put in? That's the question. It just says add an equal amount of milk or water over ice. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, it says concentrate, so I feel like that's enough. The only thing with this Chobani packaging is it always, always leaks. Oh, I guess I should flip this straw. <laughs> it's awkward to drink out of the angle. Mmm, pretty good. Definitely like it better than Stoke cold brew. That's like my least favorite. And the Trader Joe's. I think the Trader Joe's one is actually terrible. Liking this one better so far. And I like the combo it got going on. Breakfast is served. This looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm up on their rooftop. They have this beautiful roof. It's like in the trees over here. I have to get some work done. I have to get today's video scheduled. I already made the thumbnail last night, but I need to do the description box and everything and then get that up. That hike slash walk, it was kind of, it was just like a walk. It's like a little trail walk. So beautiful. You want just an easy kid-friendly, dog-friendly walk, really pretty along the water. But go to the right. I thought, actually not the, whatever, the number one trailhead. I went down both, but I thought it was way prettier if you go to the right. But really glad we did that. It's already like 75 degrees right now, and it's going to get up to about 93. So I just want to enjoy the rooftop while it's nice out. I do feel a little migraine coming on, so I just took some medicine. I'm just going to hope that it kicks in here. Oh my god, the dog looks so cute right now. I have to show you. Just sunbathing. What a life. Okay, gotta get to work. I also have this book, which I've started. I think I'm only like 60 pages in. Never, never. Colleen Hoover. Haven't been hearing great things about it, so I'm like less motivated to read this, but I have it. I usually read it on my Kindle. This is like the only physical book I've read in a couple years. <laughs> This is the video I just scheduled. If you miss this one, I'm literally telling you every single thing I do to save money. Like these are tips and hacks that actually work and that I do every time I book. There's a bunch of good stuff in here. So hope you guys liked that one. I need to clean my keyboard, ignore that. <laughs> Next morning, I'm vlogging in the laundry room because it has the best lighting right now. This is like perfect tripod height, this washing machine. So yesterday I did end up getting a migraine until like, I think about 7, 8 p.m. I couldn't get the thing filmed, so I need to film today. I need to film like a full video and get these clips for part of this video. There's a lot on the to-do list today. I already got the dog walked this morning. We went to Washington Park, which is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Green Lake in Seattle. Like it has all these really nice like pass and trails going through and then there's like a boathouse lake and another lake super pretty and that whole area is oh my god the houses are <laughs> so beautiful and i was looking on zillow 
it's like, it's pricey. But there's some like real high-end pockets of houses and neighborhoods in Denver. I'm starting a new audiobook and I played like an hour and 20 minutes of it. So we did a pretty decent walk and we were, we were power walking. He was like passed out in the car on the way home. But late last night I made pretty good progress on this book, The Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. I need a bookmark. I'm on page 272 and there's about 400. So I'm hoping I can finish this later today if I get my work done. So far I'm not uh, in love with it. It's not really like keeping me hooked. I feel like there's just like one main thing that you're like trying to figure out the entire book. It's very different than Colleen Hoover's other books I feel like. It's more of like a mystery. So far I'm not that into it. I'm just kind of like reading it to finish it. I'm reading two other books right now. I have the audiobook and then I'm reading Daring Greatly by Brene Brown which I'm almost done with. I need to stop procrastinating so basically I need to get clips for a video that I think will be up before this vlog but I'm sure. I'm gonna do another foundation updates video. So I have some of the try on clips just from like testing it over the last couple months now, some of them, but some of them I need to get more clips of or whatever. So I'm gonna do that first, then get ready to film the actual like sit down part of that video where I talk through what I think of the foundation. Here we go. right here is actually good and I feel like when I do the foundation clips, sometimes it looks better on my iPhone, not better, but I think you can see more detail on my iPhone, the iPhone almost like sharpens it weirdly though. Like it looks worse on the iPhone than it does in real life. I just feel like sometimes you can see more detail. So I think I'm gonna do the iPhone clip and just sit right there in front of the window where there's good light. Is this J. Crew bag. They have it in green too. I'm looking at, I really like the blue, but the green is cool too. And they have a cute pink one. The blue just looks like so summery to me. I was watching, I think it was Brooke Michio's vlog and someone in her vlog was wearing this bag and I immediately looked it up. It looks like such a like pretty blue in real life too. It kind of looks like the blue of my like yoga shorts. But picture this with like a white flowy summery dress. I think it'd be so cute. I'm a little scared it's gonna be heavy though like for traveling because sometimes this crochet material can be and they have it in neutrals too but the blue is on sale right now. So I just got some of the foundation clips. I'm actually not gonna film the entire video today for a multitude of reasons I won't get into, but I wanted to show you guys one of my new little Dagny Dovers. I got a few new ones, but I'm so in love with the hot pink design, hot pink that they came out with. This is seasonal, which is unfortunate. I feel like they should have made this permanent, but this is smaller than my other one. Here's my other bag like this. I'll have the sizes down below with them. This is where I keep like my basically my camera equipment I have like a lens in here and mic and stuff but this one is what i've been putting in my purse this is like the smaller size and perfect size for like a tote bag or something but i just have my other camera the g7x just for photos in here i have the birdie alarm which should be on my keys this which plugs into the phone i've talked about I've talked about those in depth in my last raise and rejects video and then i have a pair of the walgreens sunglasses in there and it's just like a good way to organize some of the stuff in my purse and just so the digital camera's not like floating around in there. It also has this nice little zip bag here that I have some more medicine in. So I really like the smaller size. It's like the perfect small size to throw in a tote bag. Obsessed with the neon pink. Okay, I finished the book. Sadly, I think this is Colleen Hoover's worst book. This was, I rated it a 3.5 out of 5. I feel like that's a little generous, honestly. I was bored the entire book. The twist was not good at all. It was cheesy. The ending was terrible. This was, yeah, not her best. So I would just say, so skip this one altogether. Just don't waste your time. All right, I have quite the Amazon haul here. One thing I've noticed is people, like in different houses that I've stayed, Airbnbs, everything, People put scissors in such weird places. Like it's always a hunt to try and find the scissors. Sometimes I never find them. Sometimes the junk drawer is in like a random place. You just never know. Want to try this instant coffee? Got really good reviews and I love instant coffee. It's also just a really good thing to travel with. You can just always make it with hot water and this one got good reviews. So I actually like the taste of Nescafe. This is a white t-shirt dress. I'm hoping I didn't order the same because I tried another style of a t-shirt dress and it didn't look good. Okay, this is one of my favorite shirt styles I have found for just basics. I have it in black and I ordered it in another color and it's this pretty blue color. It just fits and cuts like the perfect length. I love the sleeves on it. I've never tried this stuff. I don't know how, but they have a tinted one. I thought it was only in clear. Okay, this is probably what I'm most excited about. I'm trying to find some suits that I feel good in. The struggle. This is the CRZ yoga brand, and I do have their have one of their yoga pants. So I wanted to try their swimsuits out. These, 
Might be a little small. This is the medium, right? This is the medium. I would say this looks like it runs a little small. Hopefully those fit. The top is kind of like a sports bra thing. Okay, this is not that top. This is to go over. Like I thought this would be cute in the summer. Or, okay, picture this like hanging on the beach, paddle board and something like that. It's just like a crocheted sweater that you could put like over the swimsuit. And I thought the different greens would look cool together. They have this in a bunch of colors. This looks like it's gonna be cute. Also, you could just wear this as a top, not like a swimsuit cover up. Okay, where's the top though? Here it is. It's like a long line kind of top. Oh, this is promising. And it has the bra cups, which I like. Okay, hopefully the bottoms fit. This looks like it's gonna be really cute. Spaghetti strap with a V. This comes in other colors. I was debating between the green and they also had a really pretty hot pink. Another swimsuit top I'm gonna try. This one is like kind of long line. I liked the back on this because it has like, no, it's not long line actually, but it has like the scoop kind of back. But look how cute the front is. It has these heart details and it has like a cutout. Oh, this color is so pretty. Okay, this is just like a silky skirt. Oh my God, I love this neon orange. That might be a little, mm, might fit. Might need a size up. Picture this with like cute sunglasses, the Steve Madden wedges that I talked about in my last Amazon video. That would be so cute with this and maybe like white, just like basic top. Love this color, whoa. This looks way better in person than it did online. It's like a, kind of like a neon papaya or something. Oh, I think they accidentally sent me two of these. That's exciting. Pretty sure I only ordered one, but these are repurchase of my favorite. I have been missing these since I used them all up. They're just so easy to plop on. I've talked about these in so many videos, but got the voluminous sets. Okay, these are so cute. They're flower hair clips. Comes in a set of five, so I'm gonna leave some for the woman here or maybe bring some for my friend at the next city I'm going in, but, but very cute. I'm having issues opening these. I need to watch all the TikTok girlies on their tutorials on how to, there's all these like different ways you can clip up your hair. And whenever I go to actually clip it, I just do it like the basic way because I never remember how they did it. So I need to go back and like watch all my saved hair tutorials. <laughs> I don't even go on TikTok anymore. It's all on Instagram reels. Actually comment down below. Do you go more on TikTok or Instagram reels now? Because I feel like Instagram reels is it's getting up there. It's kind of, I feel like it's getting as popular as TikTok. They have different sets of colors on there. I just chose like a neutral one, but got a white, got a really pretty like sky blue. That would look so cute with like a white dress. Mint green. Good thing tomorrow is trash day because now I have 500 boxes. Okay, I'm back on the rooftop. Birds are chirping, planes are flying. Got the iced coffee. I kind of just wanted to have a little rooftop chat with you guys. I just changed my mic out. I don't know what was happening with my other mic, but hopefully you should be able to hear me and it's not too windy. So we should be good on the on the audio here but i just kind of like jumped into this denver vlog and i didn't even update you guys on where i was what was happening so on my channel i do vlog obviously you're watching a vlog i don't vlog everything i don't vlog you know i'm vlogging like snippets of certain days sometimes i like skip a couple weeks vlogging all together and do more sit down videos and that's kind of what the last couple weeks were i was in tahoe for two weeks and oh, it's hot up here oh my god you want to be in the vlog or what and i was kind of debating vlogging Tahoe and I decided ultimately not to because Tahoe is just like a really special place to my family. My parents met there, my mom grew up there, I have a lot of family there, there's been a lot of like amazing times there and I have so many amazing memories there just as a kid in the summer and winter but also we've had a lot of loss there and there's been a lot of changes and especially like the last 10 years or eight years. So I just was, I was feeling the feels. It was an amazing trip. My friend also came up for my birthday and um, my family was there to celebrate my cousin's graduation. And we have like four June birthdays in our family. So it was just really nice. So I just enjoyed it and didn't worry about vlogging. I was posting photos on Instagram. And if I'm not vlogging, I'm usually on Instagram updating the stories over there so if you want to see some of tahoe you can check out like the highlights and stuff but i'll insert some footage here too because i just think tahoe is such a special place if you've never been there
I would love to have a lake house one day in Tahoe. <laughs> They're just a casual, you know, five million at least, but hey, a girl can dream. But yeah, it was the first time my family was all like back together in Tahoe in a long time and we used to go every summer and every winter. I love being by lakes and so the combo of that with the family and then being back there was just very, very nice. So anyways, that that's Tahoe. I didn't vlog that. Before that I was in Phoenix. I have one kind of vloggy. It was like at the epic shopping video day <laughs> vlog. That was my Phoenix vlog and then I did like sit down videos while I was there. But yeah, I've just been feeling like I needed a break from the vlogs. So like I said, it's my first real time in Denver. It is beautiful right now and just seeing it like so green and lush and everything like I'm really liking it. I haven't even seen any of the city yet but I've just like driven through certain neighborhoods and it's very cute. It looks almost like Portland-y. Obviously I'm seeing it in like probably the best time of year. I mean fall would be pretty unreal too but I just love how much obviously like nature and hiking and everything there is close to here too. Boulder and I mean there's so much stuff in Colorado. So if you live in Denver when this vlog goes up I'm still here so please let me know if you have any suggestions, things I need to for sure see, areas I need to check out. But one thing I did want to talk about is just you know, with doing what I'm doing, solo traveling, all of that. Got a lot of thoughts for a month i was in jordan in jordan i'm like surrounded by family and people 24 7 literally 24 7 i don't think i was alone at all and i'm an extroverted introvert so usually i feel like i need like some alone time and for whatever reason when i'm in jordan i think it's just because i you know i consider them family and i'm like so comfortable around them i've never felt like that even when i lived there and it was like you know i was there for a year so to go from having that environment where there's like, you know, kids running all over and things happening all the time and being around people I love and going from that environment 24 seven to then going to Phoenix where I was, you know, alone, dog sitting. And then again, going from Phoenix to Tahoe where again, I'm around family and with people 24 seven and all of that to then being alone again. It's like these big extremes. The dog wants to come back out even though it's gonna be hot in two seconds. So it's just like these different extremes i'm good but also it's just like it's just weird to go from being around that many people all the time to like completely alone i know a couple people in denver that i think i'm gonna meet up with and i got a dog here to keep me company you know hi sir that's you you're doing a good job thank you i don't know i just love the chaos like i love the chaos of big families and obviously that's you know something i didn't grow up with and so i love being around people all the time i love just like having that built-in you know community i know that's not a given for all families and not all families are close and everything but i'm very lucky that my jordan second family has grown into that over the years and i'm so thankful to have them it's just like more reassurance i guess that like that's what i want in life i want the the big family and the chaos and all of it you know i don't know how i just saw this but there's a new black mirror season out and you have to watch the first episode. Dude, it was so trippy. I feel like I could watch it like three more times. My mind, I'm still thinking about it. But I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I think there might be another, like an actual Denver vlog. We'll see, we'll see how much. I honestly have so much filming to do while I'm here that it's kind of like Phoenix where I was just like in hardcore filming mode. I have a lot of brand things coming up and I'm gonna be going for like a few day on a few day trip with a friend after this so i don't want to be working then and then i'm going to be in seattle so it's like i'm trying to get ahead but i love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye